How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here showing off 15 amazing Nintendo Switch games that I've been playing for the last couple of weeks. And with help from that, I'm going to be using the Heroful wireless gamepad for the NS. It doesn't say Nintendo Switch anywhere on here, but you got to take my word for it. It does work with the Nintendo Switch. Enjoy the game as your style. I don't mind if I do. Well, here's what it looks like. Nice and simple, nice and clean. I dig it myself. These you would think would be kind of a rubber padding. It's not, it's just more of uh, the plastic mold, but I think it holds pretty well. It's a cost efficient controller if you're not gonna get the Pro, but you want something that works pretty well. Um, I use this and I think it works pretty well. What can I say? Cost efficient, gets the job done. I'm a fan, so I've got a link to this in the description below, and we're going to check out some awesome games now for the Nintendo Switch. And before I do that, of course, make sure you're subscribed. I do at least two videos a week. I'm a huge old-school gamer. I like the new stuff, too, though, so make sure you're subscribed. Always something new coming up. Well, we got to talk about the Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. This is available, well, at the end of the month. I had a little review copy here, but I wanted to showcase a little bit of this. They did have this game on the Wii U of all systems, at least the first one here. Um, I never got a chance to play the second one. This is nice because you get to play both of them um, on the same download. And hoping, fingers crossed, there'll be a physical release sometime in the future. It's that old school style. This may have been the game that kicked it all off. This was the first retro style game I remember seeing where it's like, oh, it's like, it's like Mega Man. And now you look at the Nintendo Switch library, PlayStation 4, whatever you're looking for. It's like all these new indie titles are all like, you know, retro based, inspired by, and this may have been the one that kicked it off. So, I mean, maybe Angry Video Game Nerd was onto something in the first place. A lot of the same comedy, a lot of the same writing, uh, with the bad words and the, you know, the kind of jokes that he uh, throws in his videos and stuff like that. Man, you gotta love it. It's, it's fun. It's nothing I could do personally. <laughs> <laughs> but I can certainly watch and enjoy in so many different stages you can choose from too. You choose your stage to go to where you need to go. And it's Mega Man style. You're going to die a lot, fortunately. There's a ton of checkpoints along the way. That's going to help you out. I mean, come on, what can I say? It's You go around, you shoot everything you can. The bosses are kind of fun. The very first time I beat this, I beat it on the easiest level. It took me just a little over an hour, and I died 92 times. I know I can do better than that next time. But the cool news is, again, there's also Angry Video Game Nerd Volume 2 on this one, and I haven't played this one at all, so looking forward to this. And there's even a third option that's unlocked once you beat 1 and 2. I'm not sure what that one is yet, but we'll find out together one of these days. Wallachia Reign of Dracula. I thought I was getting into something that was going to be kind of Castlevania-like. Turns out it reminds me, believe it or not, a little bit like Willow for the arcade. Mm, which is a broad statement. It's not quite like Willow because it's not the same charm. You don't have the shops. But it's still a lot of fun. It still looks kind of like it could be a Castlevania game. But I liked what I played of it so far. And you can see for yourself what it looks like. And it plays, well, like what it looks like. You're always shooting these arrows. Like every other game that looks like this, you get your power-ups along the way, you get your maneuvers along the way. Just fun game, and it looks cool, and I thought the music was great, and I'm looking forward to playing more of this. How about Shoot 1-Up DX? This is your shooter game. This is your shoot 'em up The gimmick behind this one is all of your ships are on screen all at the same time. You got three lives, there's your three ships. You can condense yourself down to one, or you can spread them out, and you can shoot like a massive laser between... <laughs> <laughs> that giant power-up uh, between all that, too. And the more you're playing this game, the more one-ups you'll get. And if you get a one-up, then that joins your armada. So after a while, you're going to have like a bunch of your own ships on screen all shooting enemies all at the same time. What a great gimmick behind this game uh, with Shoot 1-Up DX. From what I understand, this game was available like on Xbox Live back in the 360 days. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, but it's available on the Switch, and it's available right now. And if you, if you like shoot 'em ups fun gimmick, might want to check it out. This is Disc Room from Devolver Digital, and anytime Devolver releases a game, I always have to pay extra close attention because the games that they pick up for uh, distribution or for release or the things that they do that Devolver does are unique enough that it always catches my eye. And this one is exactly one of those types of games. Well, the game plays like Cube, like the movie Cube, only every room is full of saws. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a matter of how long can you last, and if you meet the requirements before you get sawed, you will get sawed a lot, uh, then it'll open up more doors and open up more pathways, and different rooms have different criteria to go through. There's even bosses in this game. Um, there's you know, little gimmicks you can get along the way. They can either slow down time. You can kind of dash through saws for like a split second and stuff like that too. So the game is called Disc Room. Man, um, 
Games like this I usually shy away from because I'm like, come on, it's gonna be another one of these kind of games. But I had a lot of fun playing this game, and I'm gonna I'm gonna continue having fun. I'm looking forward to looking forward to playing more of it. I mean, how can you not love a game called Fight Crab? It is a fighting game that you play as a crab. You're <laughs> with different control styles. Uh, your dual analogs are your arms, and then your other buttons are your attack. And you're trying to flip the other crab over to gain your victory. And you play as a fighting crab. I mean, I should have just stopped there. I should have just said, here's a game called Fight Crab. You are, it's a two player fighting game where you're both crabs. I could have stopped it just like that, and <laughs> maybe that would have piqued your interest. Uh, this was a game, and I, th I think it looks pretty cool too. Um, yeah, yeah, it plays, it plays pretty fun. I, I had to check it out. New game for my friends at Mega Cat Studios. This is Bite the Bullet. This one's been out for a little while now, but I've been having fun playing this one. I haven't showed it off in a video yet, so I'll show it off in this video all the same. Think like Metal Slug, where you're always running, you're always shooting, you're always doing something. But it has the gimmick, it has the mechanic of eating. So you eat to get power-ups, you eat to get health back. The only problem is, if you eat too much, you'll get big and round, and you'll slow you down. So you gotta manage what you eat, and how you get it, and what you're going through. <laughs> so, if you like that Contra style, run and gun style, metal slug style, but that gimmick of eating, bite the bullet, uh, it's, it's a fun one, and uh, definitely want to check it out if you can. Ginny LeClue, Detective Vu is the name of this game, and I absolutely love this game. I love games like this, too. Um, you're going around and collecting clues. You walk around in a town. I don't really want to compare The only thing I can think of to compare it to, maybe a little bit like Night in the Woods, but not as much. It just has that mechanic where it's the, the 2D side-scrolling, for a lot of it anyway, not all of it, but for a lot of it, it's the 2D side-scrolling, and that's when you can talk to people. And then sometimes you have to interrogate them, or ask them questions, or talk to them. This game reminds me a lot of Tingle Tower, maybe with the writing, maybe with the quirkiness, uh, maybe with the charm. But if you like games like this, where you have to like, you know, get your clues and move on and solve the mystery, Ginny LeClue Detective Vu is the game you're looking for. This one is just a fun one. This is Takeshi and Hiroshi. Uh, the, the idea behind this game is it's like your little brother is playing the game that you made, and he's making it along the way as the story goes on. And there's more to the story than, than just that, and the reason why he's playing it and all that too, to abide the uh, little brother's time. It looks like an RPG, but you, get, you just choose what enemies your character fights and then it goes through the fight sequence. You don't have to touch anything. Every once in a while you can like touch a dodge button or you'll get like a power up, like, oh, you can use it once per round. Uh, but if you make it too easy, then you get bored. If you make it a little bit more of a challenge, then that gets you the joy points, I guess. And then when you reach a certain level at the end of the rounds, then you can move on to the next stage, whatever that may be. The joy with this game is after the stages, the stories, the cutscenes, and all that between what's going on. It's this claymation style. It's this Gumby and Pokey style. It's wonderful, and I, I love it. I'm looking forward to more of this too. This is a lot of fun. So happy that Pretty 1 and 2 are available now on the Nintendo Switch. If you're not familiar, it plays like a PlayStation 1 style, a little bit like a Nintendo 64 style side-scrolling um, action game. Like kind of like an action platformer here. I just love how it looks. I love this. It, it was a complete throwback when I started playing this again uh, because it just looks like that PS1 style side-scrolling action game, which I totally miss. And how it kind of turns a little bit to an angle when you're going to attack some enemies like from the air and all that too. I mean, you play as this penguin and you have this little hack and slash button that <laughs> you can slice up your enemies. And the music is phenomenal. It's one of the greatest soundtracks you'll hear in a long, long time. It, like, live music, man, this... There's a lot going on with this game. You might look at it and say, oh, it's another indie title, it's another one of these, it's another whatever. I'm telling you, you gotta check this game out. If you have the capacity, uh, even, I mean, even look up another YouTube video of somebody playing this game so you can hear the music and you can hear how it sounds. It's a lot of fun. I, I miss games like this, and I'm glad that there's two of them now. I'm only showing this is the first one here, uh, but there's two of them available right now. The game is called Dream, and it's one of these kind of games. Point and click, use this on that. Solve the little, uh, solve the whatever's going on here in the, the creepiness going on. Use this item on that. You know, do the little puzzle along the way. I like games like this. I haven't played this much. 
<laughs> but I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I already like it. The game's called Dream. Check it out. Dodo Peak was another game that came out uh, a little while ago, maybe a couple of months ago, but it's another one of those games I haven't had a chance to talk about on a video yet, so I thought I'd show it off in this video at least. Um, it's a little puzzle game. It's I, I like puzzle games. Reminds me a little bit, kind of like a Qbert, but mm, not really. I could have seen this maybe in the arcade back in the day under different graphics and everything. You just have to jump down from the levels, grab your eggs, go back home. But there's all these obstacles in your way. It's called Dodo Peak. A pretty fun game. Uh, I like puzzle games like this. I like having puzzle games like this to play in between when I'm in... You know, I, I just played this one game that's emotionally draining and it was super action-packed and I need to relax. This game uh, might be the one that I'll just pop in just to play for a little bit. Space Robinson is the name of this game. And this game, eh, I mean, so far so cool. Anyway, it's a game that it looks like this and it plays like this. You've seen games like this before, right? It plays like it looks. There you go. <laughs> I like games like this every once in a while. Might be worth checking out. If you like games like this too, man, right up your alley. This game is called Goner 2. This game was just released recently, and I've been playing a little bit of this too. It it's another game that looks like just like the other games too. It looks like it plays. But this one has a lot of different gameplay elements, like how you jump. Uh, some levels might have a swimming mechanic or something like that that you don't realize until you start playing it. The levels kind of build as you move on, so it makes your uh, action reflexes uh, really amped up to do exactly what you need to do, jump exactly where you need to jump, uh, shoot the enemy wherever angle it's coming from, all around you and all that. Um, yeah, so far so cool. Check out Goner 2. The Friends of Ringo Ishikawa is a game I picked up recently, physically, um, thanks to Limited Run Games, uh, they released this. I think the digital's been out for a little while now. Um, but it's one of those games that when I saw it, I was like, man, I'm, I, I'm sorry I missed out on this digitally. I probably would have bought it digitally. Glad I got the physical. Don't get me wrong. But as you can see, it looks like a Kunio game. It's, I, I hate to use the word love letter, but it's a little bit like a Kunio game. One of the buttons when you're walking around is a light a cigarette button. And then the same button flicks your cigarette. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> I like how you walk around with your hands in your pockets. And then the fight mechanic, the fight style. It's like those Kunio games. You know, it's a little bit like this. Not quite like River City Ransom. It's a little slower paced than all that, but it still might be worth checking out. Lost Wing was one I grabbed because it looked like it could be a fun... Not just space shooter, not just shoot 'em up, but it has a little rhythm element in it too. Like the music plays and you have to uh, hit the button at the right time or jump at the right time. There's also a slow down and speed up button. Um, there's a lot going on with this game for what this game's all about. And um, you know, if you like that rhythm style and have that that little bit extra something or other, uh, Lost Wing is where it's at. Now this one was a surprise for me, F-117A Stealth Fighter. Now they have this game on the NES, and on the Switch, it's just the NES version on the Nintendo Switch. Stealth like, you know, maybe they knew that it was never gonna get a release on the Nintendo Switch Online. So like, ah, hey, you know what, we'll just release it ourselves. <laughs> With a nice bezel on the side. <laughs> so I was like, I got it, it's like, yeah, it's just, it's the NES version. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? Nothing wrong with that. I I encourage more retro companies, um, like you know Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, even Game Boy, uh, with the with the portable capacity. I would love to see more companies do their own thing like this. You know, release it cheap, put a nice bezel on it, maybe add like a save feature, save state, or something like that. Man, I'm I'll, I'll jump in. And I love checking out these new, especially the retro-based games on the Nintendo Switch. Make sure you check out these other videos if you haven't done so already. There's always something new coming up, and there's plenty out there that maybe you didn't even know about. So check those out, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks.